Not the usual camp today. Looks a bit different from last time I was here. A lot of leaves on the floor. It's more, more light now, the leaves are down. Brighter. Sometimes a bit dark in this spot. It sounds obvious, but you can learn a lot from uh, looking down at the floor, the leaves. What trees are in the wood. The sycamore, ash, lime, elm, even oak. There's not an oak tree close to the camp, but there's a few around the wood and they blow about. But you can tell, tell what trees you've got just by looking, looking down. Gonna be another day camp today. Hopefully do a, a wild camp next weekend. Getting out, getting a bit frustrated. <laughs> this is my taking a, a permanent Dakota fire pit. It's basically a hole in the ground. With access to the front and the back. The hole there to get to get air into it. And so I can have can have the fire there and cook over the top. I've got a grill which I permanently leave at camp, so I place that over the top, put my pans on there, the fire underneath. I've also got pot holders there. You can hang things from, cook over the top. Works quite well, this. I had a camera trap up over the camp for last week, so I'll see what's been, been coming through camp while I've been away. Swapping my pouches around as well. This was for me my fire kit. I always carry two knives with me. Started carrying the Leatherman, which I find really useful. But I swapped the rebar for the sidekick, just the fact it's got spring loaded pliers, which I prefer to grabbing things out of the fire. In this one. Got a decent knife, but what I've got it for mainly is the uh, the saw. You know, just when you're off, off little walks, you need to cut something down. Got a few other tools, but it's mainly the pliers and the saw, the tin opener. It's quite useful. It also lets me carry a book knife as well, which has got a better blade. Can use that for little tasks. But in here, just extra pocket. So I've got to carry a spoon, fire lighter, cigarette lighter, little torch, and a whistle. Just some things that you, things you might lose or things you need at hand quite regular. I mean, they took away nicely there. Saves having to carry two, two knife pouches. It's all in one there. Yeah, I like the rebar. It's a good knife, good sturdy knife, and I think the sidekick's slightly inferior in quality. But I do prefer the spring-loaded pliers to the rebars. I mean, you can you can manipulate. Bit of practice can manipulate this, but a few times, been trying to grab things out of the fire, and it's just it's hard to hard to let go. A few times I've actually spilt things, so I think these will be a lot better. So this is my new fire kit. It's a bit bigger, <laughs> a bit bigger than the old one. 
It's where one tigress. To me, I mean, look, I mean, I've only, only one bit of kit I've got from them, but it seems the quality is just as good as Max Edition, but slightly cheaper. But we've been been slightly bigger and get obviously get more in there, more more usable kit. And I put a torch on the outside just because it's there. There's a slot there, so I've got a torch. No mag light. Useful to have, but not necessary. In the front. Got a tinder tinder tin. A little dried tinder. Vaseline, good for creating fires and it's also good for, for, your, for your lips, get your lips chapped. Knife, striking on the ferro rod. Another larger tin, the fire kit in. I mean that could be taken, if we want to, a lighter load, you just take that out, use that on its own. There's nice extra things in there, candles, another larger tinder tin with, which I've used for making char cloth, got a hole in the top, plenty of char cloth in there. Fire steel, matches, good piece of fat wood. Lighter, plenty of birch bark, a bit of amadou there. Some more fat wood. Yeah, in a separate tin. So I can take this out, use this on its own, standalone tin. Got a fire steel, a bit of flint, all weatherproof matches, cigarette lighters. Little candles. Yeah, all you need really. One thing I found if you do strong, slow strokes, this scrapes shavings off. And these shavings go into the tinder and when it does ignite it's got extra combustion then so we do slow strokes a few slow strokes first get some shavings off and do some fast ones and the small pieces in the tinder ignite so it adds to the flame using the wood gas stove today forget how good this stove is virtually smokeless it uses very little wood. It gives a lot of heat out. I'm going to do myself some burgers and some halloumi. Quite useful these, a lot easier to use, to grab pots, a lot easier with the spring loaded pliers. A few sultanas on top. These aren't pancakes, they're called drop scones. More of a sweet batter. You do them over a, a cool flame. Don't take long. Quickly flip them over.
I cook them in butter or I'm using olive oil here. They're lovely and sweet. And you finish them off with a touch of honey. Very nice. Nice and sweet. It's getting dark, but I'm just going to do my tea and have garlic mushrooms. This is uh, that wild garlic I've just dug up. I'm going to finish. Finish the halloumi off and the and the burger. Well, I'm just going to finish my uh, my tea. Get off before it gets dark. Thanks for joining me. Hope oh, you can see me. It's getting pretty dark now. I'm just going to finish my tea and get off. I started Instagram. Don't know if. Any of you out there do the same? I know some people who I subscribe to do it and I follow them and some people who subscribe to me and don't actually upload any videos, they do it. So it's nice to see, see what you're up to. But I'll put my link down below if you want to uh, check my channel out, my Instagram channel. Please do so. I'll see you next time.